Do you make a lot of money, but yet you don't have financial freedom? I know so many people that are in this position and they uh. don't understand how they can actually be free with all the income that they create. And what I'm here to say is today's video is about numbers equal financial freedom, not income. And there's a big difference with that. See, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today I wanna dig into that. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you notice that I have a different background. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me some feedback. So with that, let's jump in. All right, so here's the thing you need to know. Most people, what they do is they go out and they get a great paying job, or they build a business where they have great income, and they think, oh, I make all this money, I'm good. The problem is, if, is that if something happens to you, you will no longer be able to perform your job or run your business more than likely, and therefore in some way, shape or form, your income will take a hit. I see it all the time. Most people, they go out and they're like, oh, I make all this money, you know, and if you're making roughly four or 500 grand a year, or more, that's where life is more fun, more juicy, you get to do things, depending on how much money you have going out on a monthly basis for your household or for your lifestyle, whatever that might be. What's great is they get to go on all these great trips, they get to do all these things, buy the toys, buy the cars, buy the houses, you know, do all the fun things, go out to awesome events, do a first class. However, if you remove that person from the equation, would you still have money coming in? For most people, it's no. And so what most people need to understand is that your numbers on how much passive income you have coming in based on your budget, we'll talk about that here all in a second, but once you know what expenses are going out, you know how much passive income's coming in, it doesn't matter what we call your active income where you're trading time for money, it doesn't matter what that is. The numbers don't lie, they tell the truth. See, most people think just because they make a lot of money that they're a big shot and they might. They might have a great amount of money and I'm not saying having a business or a high paying job is a bad thing. Having a business where you make a lot of money is a great thing because businesses actually accelerate your, your money where real estate and other passive investments, they actually create long term wealth. And so I like to look at it as a increase of income game versus a wealth game. And that's a big distinction. So one of the first things I would recommend if you haven't done so is look at what are your current expenses on a monthly basis? How do you have them broken down? So I like to look at my bare minimum, how much it really costs that if we had no income coming in that I would need to pay no matter what, like mortgage, utilities, food, like those basic necessities, I would wanna know what that is. Cell phone, right? You want to know what that is. Then I also have a lifestyle number. What does it cost to run our household and our lifestyle? Because you wanna look at it and see what your basic financial freedom numbers are. And if your passive income is coming, is equal to or more, even a dollar more than what your expenses are, you now have financial freedom. So the numbers aren't going to lie. What lies to you is your income. You think you're doing well, but when you remove yourself from the equation, you are not financially free. You don't have financial freedom. You might have a lot of time freedom if you were to be removed from your job or your business, but then you'd probably be broke, right? And so we don't want you, the goal is not to be broke. The goal is to create financial freedom where you have time and money. And so how you do that, it can be a various ways, number of combinations. However, what I always like to look at is, do you have a money-making machine, whether active or passive, right? Depends. Where you funnel that into assets that will pay you, that will create passive income, so that your passive income starts to increase and, and it surpasses, this is key, it surpasses your monthly expenses, at least the bare minimum, right? So you could say, I have financial freedom. So if your expenses are $2,000 a month and you make 2001 passively, you're financially free. Congratulations, right? But we ultimately want to move and shoot towards that lifestyle number. I have a lot of clients that have created financial freedom, but they don't have the lifestyle freedom they desire. And so once you have that lifestyle freedom, you can live the lifestyle you've been living and it's all through passive income. All of a sudden, you can do something with all your free time, like start a business or buy a business and then grow the business and allows you to accelerate the income, allows you to make an impact in whatever way you wanna make an impact. In fact, one of my friends, we were just talking yesterday, 
she feel like God has called her in the healthcare space and, and to go take that next step in her journey of healthcare and that she could be, you know, that's her like ministry there. That's where God's called her and her gifting is and where she could be effective. And so she's walking in that path to help create a better income for her family. And that's great because that's what she's called to do. She's gonna make an impact there. Once you have financial freedom, you can create financial freedom by making an impact. I'm not saying you can't, but what I am saying is when you're financially free, you can now make an even bigger impact or go after the things that you always wanted to do that make an impact that might not pay you as well. But if you do have something that you feel like God's called on your heart to, you know, this is your swim lane, this is what your path, your purpose, then you can go all in and dedicate time, energy, or resources, right? Because prosperity is about how much you can bless other people, not how much you can bless yourself, right? And that's why, and I was thinking about this the other day, I was in prayer and I was in praise and worship right here in my office. And what God revealed to me was that the process of creation, right? The process of creating more passive income, more income, right? The whole point of creation is for giving. Creation is for giving. And take notes on that because the key to life, the secret to life is not about what you get, it's about what you give. That's where true fulfillment comes. And I love to give. I love blessing people. I love hosting and being able to say, just come over and we got everything for you. We love being able to bless monetarily. We, are, we love being able to bless in time. And it's just, it's so cool to be able to give. And that's what we love to do. And that's why our whole path over this last six months has completely shifted. And we're still on our path of creating financial freedom. Well, we have financial freedom, but we're still creating more financial freedom to get it to the lifestyle number that we desire because we like to have fun and go places and give. And so we're working on green, our passive income going up. We're locking on some great deals right now. Should be increasing anywhere from three uh, to the four thousand dollars a month in passive income, which is exciting. I don't say that to impress you, just to impress upon you. When you focus on something and you laser focus, right, you are way more effective, and that's what we're focused on. And it's just going to grow from there. And then we're going to funnel that into real estate. That's going to bring in even more cash flow. And all of a sudden, we're going to start going into buying businesses and building them up and transforming everything and selling them eventually. So that's our path. That's what we're called to do. But in the process, we get to give. And that's what I challenge you. Go create to give. See, financial freedom isn't about how much money you make, but how much passive income you have coming in and how your expenses are. And so I said earlier, we talk about budgeting. And what I would encourage you to do is write down everything you spend money on for the last three months. Write it down, write on an average, see the average. You know, month one, month two, month three, we spend X amount in each month. Average amount, that's more or less gonna be your lifestyle number. Then you look at what are your basic necessities, your bare bones to live. That is your basic financial freedom number. Once you have those two, obviously, you know, basics gonna be lower than the lifestyle. Once you have those two, you know what you're aiming at. And I always tell clients, I was just on a webinar uh, the other day with uh, leading a mastermind and uh, for a gentleman that I'm friends with in my mastermind group. And I was telling him how, if you're not 100% clear on your numbers, your goal, then you are 100% unclear. So go get crystal clear on those numbers. Don't round, don't just, oh, I think it's about, because we generalize in our brain, right? That's one of the functions of our unconscious mind is to generalize. And the problem with generalization is that it's a ballpark figure, right? And if I told you that there was a hundred million dollars buried out in Idaho, and I gave you a general idea in Idaho, you'd be digging forever. But I've, I gave you exact coordinates. You would know exactly where that money is and you would be able to benefit from that. So you wanna be 100% clear on this, on this path to financial freedom. So go get clear on your numbers because that's what's gonna create financial freedom, not the amount of money you make. That is fool's gold. That is a lie that you tell yourself, a story you tell yourself to make you feel good about the life that you have. But honestly, as soon as we pull you out of it, 
you don't have any income coming in. And I have a lot of people I know like that. But when you have passive income coming in, like a lot of my clients who we've helped them create financial freedom, they, if you pull them out of what they do, they're still gonna create, uh, have that passive income, create that passive income coming in. And so look, here's one thing I know. Everyone I've coached, and even my wife and I, we're not, none of us are special. We're no different than you. We just learn things from coaches and mentors along the way that we've applied in our own life. And we've had some great you know, mentorship on that path. And also, you know, God's also led us down certain paths and opened certain doors for us through our obedience. But what I will say is we're no different than you. You can do it. And so if you're finding yourself, you're like, hey, you know what? I just created financial freedom, but I feel like I'm stuck. I can't get to that next level for the lifestyle financial freedom. Or if you're in the beginning stages, you're like, Joe, I have no passive income. How do I get started? I know real estate's great, but I don't know where, or I don't know other avenues. Real estate's not really for me. Reach out. I'd love to help support you. We have opportunities all the time. We have deals all the time. We have coaches that can help you break through so that you can get to that next level. And I'm telling you, today was a great example. I had a couple calls in the morning. My son who was wrapping up his last week of pre-K, turned five about a week ago, and he had a spring play, and we got to be there, my wife and I, we were able to bid at an auction for the school to raise money for the school where we could get front row seats. And so we paid for that, right? We paid extra for that. And so it was a form of giving to the school, but we got a benefit from it, which was awesome. And I got to sit front row. I got to watch my son receive an award. Maybe I'll put it in the video here, allow you to see real quick. And second term was Murphy Goodwin. It was just so cool to watch him win this award. You know, he was this little innovator for the third, uh, I don't know, semester, or whatever they go, they call it. But it was so cool to be front row, to have the time uh, at 9.30 on a Monday to be able to sit there and watch my son smile and sing songs and all this great stuff. It was because we created financial freedom. It was because we've created opportunities in our life that allow us to have that flexibility and we want to be able to help you. So if that's you, reach out. I want to be able to make sure we can support you because there's so many different ways of doing it. There's so many opportunities out there. You might not just be connected with them. And I shared with a client today, your net worth is in direct proportion to your network. So make sure you're networking. And if you're not part of a network and you need to upgrade your network, there's so many great places. Reach out. We can help you. All right, guys. So with that, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, comment below. Let us know what you thought about this video. Share it with someone that needs to hear this, right? Numbers don't lie, income lies, right? That's the big key here. So with that, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, and most importantly, give it a thumbs up so we know that you like this video. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. See ya.